WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. The market is about to close. Tiger Financial News Network, 4 p.m. Update. Basil Chapman here. And we're looking at the Dow down 35 points at 35,259. What a, what a big move it's had over the last three sessions. Uh, made a slightly higher high than Friday. It went to 35,327. It looks very much like it's going to try to get real close to the all-time high, maybe this week. The weekly chart has started to improve as well, and the monthly chart has a peak D. It's just it bumped up against that inside track repellent zone and then pulled back, but it's trying to climb back. So the key support now is between 35,000 and 35,800 if there's any sudden turn down. S&P, the S&P 500 is trading right now at 4486.39, up 15 points. That was a lovely move. Look at this. It comes from the 4340s. Uh, Boom, all the way to 44.86. This is a this is an incredible move. A nice one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. And now we're going to be able to extend that. And it says that this is leg C. It should go to a D because the technicals are improving. So the key support is at 44.50 right now. But if it's able to touch 4,500 in the next two days, that'll be a big positive, especially for the weekly chart. The QQQs are the laggards, but they are having a good session here. Of 376 at 372. Can they continue that? That's going to be the issue. Is it a matter of having a rotation where the Dow is starting to lead uh, and the S&P is next and the, the Qs are really lagging together with the Russell 2000? We're going to find out in the next few days. 368, uh, now I'd say 367 is key support short term. And certainly in the 370, 375 area, that'll be really good action. And we're also looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000 ETF trading vehicle. It's really struggling. It's just gone sideways. What, what is interesting is gold is trying to claw its way back again into the at 1764 if it can touch the 1775 1770 80 1780 area in the next two days that'll be a good sign you don't really want to see it back in the 1745s because the dollar so far is holding a case not great but it's up near the recovery high at 93.94 what's going to be very important here is that crude oil it looks to me from a visual standpoint that this leg d in the in the in the crude oil is suggesting there could be a little bit of a pullback here and that might just help some areas we'll see what happens uh, this is basil chapman signing off uh, have a wonderful day. Don't forget, Tommy Jr. starts us off 9 a.m. in the morning. Fabulous show with a great program all the way through. Go check out my uh, webinar coming up tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Go to the front page of TFN. Have a wonderful evening. See you tomorrow.